Welcome back to part two on our series where we are talking about data structures. In this particular segment, we are talking about double linked list. So previous video, we introduced the topic of a double linked list. We talked about our node object, how it differs from a single linked list. <clears throat> we then defined it. We then defined our double linked list object. And then we defined a couple new methods. So inserting at the beginning of our list, traversing it, and then getting the list size. We're going to wrap up our insertion operations. And then in the next video, we'll talk about deletion. All right. Let's define a new method, inserting at the end of our list. Again, that will take a piece of data. With this one, <clears throat> we're going to be inserting at the end, so it's going to be basically pointing to nothing. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to define a new node. And here we're going to say new node equals node after we pass in our data. <clears throat> and then from here, um, because it's at the end of our list, the node pointer next, the next pointer is going to point to nothing. So at the end of our list, so the next pointer points to nothing. And so really all that means is we're going to take our new node, set that next node property equal to none. Okay, now we also have to handle the situation where potentially we have an empty list. If we have an empty list, really we're going to be inserting it at the head of our list. And so how do we determine if it's an empty list? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We first check is self.head equal to none. If it's equal to none, it means basically uh, we didn't, <clears throat> we don't have anything in our list. And if that's the scenario, then really we're gonna say, hey, now set the previous pointer equal to none because if it's at the beginning of our list, we know that if it's at the beginning, well, that previous pointer points to nothing and then really <clears throat> set the self.head equal to the new node, and then just return. So really, all you're doing here is handle the empty case scenario. All righty. Well, what happens if it's not an empty list? What do we do then? First, grab the current node, grab the first node, really. It's kind of confusing, but will do first node equals just the head because that's the beginning of our list uh, <clears throat> go to the end of our list and so what we're going to say is while first node dot next node so basically grab the node at the end and then make sure that you want to reassign it this is the important part because basically it's going to keep iterating. It's really what we're doing up here. Um, it's going to keep iterating until it reaches the end. And so once it does reach the end, so when at the end, set the next node equal to the new node. And so we're going to say first node dot next node equals the new node. Why does that kind of, you know, why does that work? Well, if this is the end, <clears throat> the node that comes after that is now going to be that new node, right? So that's all we're doing is saying at that last node, have that next pointer point to this new node that we're inserting. And then take that new node and set the previous node pointer equal to the last node. Now, I know it says first node, but remember at that loop, we're looping until we get the last node. So now that we've defined an insertion that we'll insert at the end of our list, let's talk about two more types of insertion. Inserting somewhere in the middle of our list, but now defining if we want to insert before or after a particular node. So I might want to insert here, but I want to insert before this particular node, or I might want to insert after that particular node. So here, we'll define another one. We'll say insert before. Again, this will take the object itself. We're now going to have a new parameter called reference node, and then there's still going to be a piece of data. <clears throat> if self.head is none, this is basically handling an empty list case, print the list is empty, return, because if there's nothing in the list, there's nothing to insert before or after. So in that scenario, just return back, lead the function. Okay, otherwise, define a new node, so we'll say new node equals node with some data. 
And then we want to set that new node's previous node equal to the node that becomes before it, but where that node is pointing to its previous one. So here is where sometimes people get a little confused. We're going to say, hey, that previous node equals the reference node's previous node. So if I'm inserting here, I'm going to say, hey, that one that I'm inserting here, I want it to point to this one. We'll just take the reference node and take that previous pointer. That's all. Then take that reference node, its previous pointer will now point to the new node. The new node's next pointer will now point to the reference node. And then we have to handle one final thing. If it's basically, if it's not the head, so if it's not the head, well, first we got to check if it's not the head. Well, that's really going to be the scenario where um, the previous node equals none. So if there is nothing behind it, we know we're not at the head. Have the references nodes, have the reference nodes old previous node now point to the new node. So let me write that out. New node dot previous node dot next node point to the new node. What's going on here? So you're taking that new node, you're having the one that it's pointing after, so you're grabbing this one, and then you're grabbing that node's next pointer and having it point to that new node. That's all you're doing. Otherwise, have the self.head equal the new node because in that scenario, you have nothing behind you. So you don't have to have, you don't have to fix that pointer. All you're doing here is if you're not at the head, you wanna make sure that this one points to the new node that you're inserting right here. That's all you're doing. So you're taking that new node's previous node, which you've defined up here, you've defined up here, and then you're grabbing that previous node's next pointer. Hopefully that made sense. It's a little confusing. Look at it. Go to it yourself. Definitely have this visual or some kind of visual right by or else you're going to have all sorts of headaches. Okay, so now that we've inserted before a list, let's talk about inserting after a list. Okay, <clears throat> with this one, we're going to say insert after pretty much exactly the same we're still going to have a reference node and we're still going to have a piece of data but in this one <clears throat> we're going to do um, a simple scenario i mean we should still be checking you know obviously if that if the list is empty or, or something along that nature because otherwise we might have a, another situation or something like that um, now what we're going to do is we're going to say hey take that new node call the next node pointer and make sure it's taking that reference node and grabbing its next node pointer. So it's kind of just like flip-flopping a little bit. So here, if I'm inserting after, I'm saying, okay, have that next pointer. If I'm inserting a new node here, take that, that, that reference node's next node pointer and have it uh, basically attach that new node and so that way it's pointing to that new one. That's really all you're doing there. <clears throat> and then take that reference node and then have that next node pointer point to the new node and then have that new node, have that previous pointer point to the reference node. That's really all you're, you're kind of um, dealing with at this point. Now, just like in this one, we had to handle the situation where, well, what if we're at the, you know, the beginning of a list or something like that? Um, basically, um, if we aren't at the end of the list, we want to make sure that we have the, the node after the new node point to the new node. Hopefully, again, you'll... these ones are hard because I think just sometimes you have to visually look at it. Because I, when I look at this, I get so confused sometimes and I'm like, 
okay, next to the previous. And it's like, you see too many next, too many previous, and it's just confusing. Promise me, just look at it. It, it, it helps. So if the next node is not none, <clears throat> basically if something comes after it, take that new node and then call the next node, the one that comes after it, Okay, so now we're on the one that comes after it. Now grab that node's previous node pointer and make sure it's pointing to that new node. So you're at your new node. So basically, like say I was here, grab that new node. And then from here, grab the node that comes after it. So this one, now you're at that node, grab that node's previous pointer and make sure it's pointing to our new node. Hopefully that made sense. Again, I'm sorry, it, it's a little confusing, but really just look at it a couple times in a row and honestly speak out loud. You know, that, that probably helps tremendously, at least for me it does. You gotta say it out loud or else it's kind of hard to, I think, sometimes digest the stuff. All right, so with that being said though, that does complete uh, this video. So if you have any questions about the insertion operations, please put them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. In our next video, we're gonna talk about reversing a list and then we're also gonna be talking about <clears throat> um, some deletion operations as well. So thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.